yeah so welcome to the session so in this session i am going to discuss important hot topics of the anatomy which you can't skip for the neat pg 2021 myself dr mona lisa and i have done my md anatomy from arm force medical college pune so i have got a total 8 year of experience for uh, teaching the students for various competitive examination so i would like to firstly tell you about all important topics which you are not going to leave if you are going to target your uh, neat pg session 2021 so what i am going to discuss in this session is i am going to discuss important anatomy topics of various uh, parts like uh, head and neck neuroanatomy embryology so all the section we will cover up and i will tell you about all the topics which you can't leave if you are targeting neat pg 2021 so notes making how to approach for cadaveric and that of clinical mcqs and uh, what are your revision plans so this is important and these are all what is targeted in this session so first thing i before starting the session first thing which i want to emphasize the students that please please don't leave any of it 19 subject okay generally uh, i have met with students they have got uh, which is more important which subject we can leave so please don't do that okay it can happen that you will target any subject important topics only it can happen but entire subject leaving is not the key to success okay so if you want to target the examination please please don't leave any subject yeah it can be possible that few students has not completed uh, the subject all the 19 subject whether whether maybe it will be 14 15 16 or something so target important topics of that subject plus entirely please don't leave it okay so this is the point which i want to emphasize now so i also want to tell that uh, i want to now tell you about all the important topics of various sections so i will go sequentially from starting with the general anatomy topic so i also want to tell that when i am telling you about the topics so that is important uh, not only for the normal one liners but it is also important for your image based sessions uh, and for your clinical mcq so which all important points are there i will tell you and the topics and uh, i would also like to tell that this session is specially for neat pg 2021 but actually the now the pattern is being seen that inict fmg examination next pattern and neat pg all are going to merge as a single examination so it's not like that that neat pg um, uh, session will not contain uh, clinical mcqs okay all are integrated now now pre clinical subjects are being integrated by the clinical subject so it is important that all any point anatomy which you study you have to integrate clinical aspect related to that topic so that will be very useful for you in targeting the clinical based mcq mcqs okay so let's start with the um, general anatomy topics okay so let's start with this so students important topic which is very important and you can't leave for the general anatomy i have seen that uh, uh, not only this the, for targeting the M mcqs for the general anatomy uh, point what is i have seen that in recent trend they have made mcqs clinical mcqs and uh, they have also included mcqs like uh, identification of the muscle fiber so that means morphological classification of the muscle is very very important if you are targeting image based mcqs okay so we already know there is uh, um, there is a uh, pattern of mcqs uh, which has been uh, asked from this topics like unipinnet bipinnet we know the different morphological type unipinnet bipinnet spiral twisted straight uh, strap like with tendinous intersection so all kind of muscle fibers you have to revise it so you can't leave this topic so please write down this topic muscle muscles morphological classification so this is very important if you are considering as a image based question being asked so they can for example give any of the muscle uh, and they will ask you to identify which muscle is this and which muscle fibers are uh, lying there so that uh, way it's very important also uh, some direct mcqs like can come like types of hybrid muscle what is the nerve supply all are hybrid except so you should not leave that content also hybrid muscle 
list that is very easy to memorize the other important topics like type of joint its types of joint is very very important you have to know all types of cartilaginous joint you have to know fibrous joint you have to know different variety of the synovial joint the most mobile joint you have to know uniaxial biaxial multiaxial so types of joint is very important types of epiphyses is very important so and my dear friends i know that uh, uh, many students would have done one time revision okay because the date of neat pg has been delayed okay so the exam has been extended as you know and you are getting extra of 3 months time from now so please please utilize this 3 month time in a very direct uh, manner and in a very fruitful manner what i want to tell utilize this and start revising the things and the points which i am telling you this is definite definite uh, the mcqs will be from these topic because these are very important from the last five seven years um, mcqs and what are the pattern uh, i have made this topic from seeing the trend only so please don't leave these topics okay and please don't get confused like so many cadaveric images are coming so many clinical mcqs are coming but anatomy is not going to change the subject is not going to change change and one more point i just want to emphasize like generally many of the students ask like um, the topic okay the topic of anatomy uh, and how much marks we will gain by studying one subject so please don't compare that if i talk about this basic anatomy subject if you are going to study anatomy in detail it's not just the anatomy you are going to solve few questions of surgery ent radiology okay ops and gynae so anatomy is everywhere okay so it is important that it's not directly asking number of points and like for the next trend is coming and the, it has been like that 10 percent is from pre-clinical subject so students this is the core subject and you have to study you can't skip the subject you have to correlate you have you will have a better understanding of clinical mcqs when you are knowing the anatomy okay anatomy you have you can't skip and these are the important points which should not be left behind okay so types of epiphysis blood supply of long bones blood supply of long bones okay i am writing it for you so that you will not skip it and uh, i also want to emphasize on one more topic that is uh, bone ossification okay so you have to know about the bones which is going for the cartilaginous ossification bones which is going for the membranous ossification so you can't leave this topic and uh, also list of sismoid bones and where it is located list of sismoid bones and where it is located so these are the points of general anatomy now coming to the next uh, important uh, category that is uh, histology okay so let's focus on the histology points so which all topic you should not leave in histology is yeah so for histology point of view i just want to tell that uh, uh, now uh, the trend is that image based MCQs are coming from histology my dear friends so the most important thing is type of epithelium so type of epithelium if you are knowing so in brief you are going to detail the whole of histology so types of epithelium is very very important topic types of epithelium I have done one session on epithelium also just go through this it is on the special classes of an academy it's absolutely free so types of epithelium and features of identification of the epithelium how the uni layer and how the multiple layer actually one of the mcq just came in the aims entrance examination was they have to uh, the slide was of uh, urinary bladder and you have to identify the epithelium and which type of epithelium transitional epithelium it's uh, it's multiple the outermost layer is umbrella sept. so there are certain hints of identification so types of epithelium is very very important you can't leave this topic in histology and when what i most emphasize is general histology is much much more important than uh, systemic histology i'm not telling that systemic histology is not important because uh, last year there was a question from the fundic gland okay so we are aware is the location of the gland in the stomach uh, beaded appearance of the histological session was uh, section was given so that is important that histological slide okay how you are going i'm not telling that go into details of each and each uh, go and uh, just open the whole d4 uh, d4 histology book and revise it but you can target the histological slides by knowing the identifying features so there are approximately 
40 50 slides which is very important so you should know the differentiating features like uh, important slides if i talk about respiratory it's the trachea it's the epiglottis it's the uh, intrapulmonary bronchus when we are talking about gi tract the important slides which come for identification and the important features appendix then uh, we have got duodenum so appendix kaise identify hoga appendix will be identified by seeing a lumen its illuminated structure will be there so many pierced patches will be there absence of villi will be there then you have not to leave the uh, duodenum and ileum slides okay because there is a point for identification venous gland is there pierced uh, patches is there don't leave the slide of tongue very important in GIT because tongue there is circumvallet papillae there is fungi and filiform papillae difference between the papillae these are very important uh, important slides which you can't leave cartilage slide is very important so in general histology lymphatic structures and cartilage you can't leave this is very important topic of histology so types of cartilage types of cartilage and the slides like uh, hyaline cartilage uh, elastic cartilage fibro cartilage how you are going to identify what are the difference of uh, uh, the points of identification so all these uh, sessions should be done and revised also the identification points of blood vessel what is difference between the elastic artery the muscular artery and vein there is a collapsed lumen lymphoid organ a one of the most most important topic in histology lymphoid organ four slides are there my dear friends in this section and please do do revise these uh, slides you can't leave the slide of spleen you can't leave the slide of thymus you can't leave the slide of uh, lymph node you can't leave the slide of tongue so very important topic please so please go through this okay you can't and these are very easy also and on histology session there is many free sessions on i will plan in youtube also in the upcoming session if you want so you can just write in the message box and comment box that ma'am these are the topics we want so you can just write in the message box important topics which you want me to take on the youtube so i will uh, just take that session don't worry about that other than that uh, types of collagen fibers has been asked so these are all general histology if i talk about general and systemic general histology is more important uh, but it doesn't means that uh, systemic histology is not going to come it will come gi slides are important git slides uh, respiratory slides are important okay a few endocrine thyroid and all that is also important so you can't leave this uh, topics also so this is very important like um, slides of fallopian tube the identification points okay so I am not telling that you should know in depth all details of histological aspect but certain 4, 5 points, 3 points are there of identification because it can uh, come as an image based question and you have to know the points which is differentiating from different slides and it's very easy when you, once you go through it, it becomes very uh, easy so let me know if any problem, any topic you are not understanding so just make a note of it, I will take sessions specially free for you on the YouTube or in the special class of an academy. So these are the topics of histology. Now other than that, now let me start with the important topics of head and neck region. A very large uh, section or chunk of um, anatomy I can say and much much more important uh, MCQs are there targeted and meanwhile if you are going so I would also like to emphasize on the strategies to complete your exam. So you, you just make a timetable, a uh, timetable banaye, schedule banaye and go according to that and what you can do in between there are many many free sessions on the Academy wherever you can be the part of MCQ sessions okay. So you always what I suggest make your own notes okay just not any printed notes or anything which you get you just not rely uh, rely on that rely nahi karna hai uspe. you have to make your own notes whenever uh, whether you take uh, you make notes from attending the online sessions of an academy or any other platform or any live sessions face to face sessions notes you have got you have to add on certain points there because always there is more to add okay there is nothing like we can say 100 percent ho gaya it doesn't occurs like that so whenever you are going for a uh, for example you are attending any session of any of the educators on the unacademy platform of any 19 subjects and all so what you can do you if any point is there you can add that point or that mcq and that relevant point in your own notes that will be an easy and uh, very easy for you to revise just before your examination because always uh, leave certain uh, few uh, blank uh, papers in between in your notes copy you can do like that that will be very useful and uh, 
after that you can be uh, you can uh, practice so many mcqs that is also a very good point so always make your own notes just don't rely on any printed material which you get okay you can take uh, the help of online sessions or you can take the help of other books and all and you can have to make your own notes okay now head and neck important topic cranial nerves are very very important topic cranial nerves cranial nerves functional component and nuclei you can't leave this topics functional component nuclei of cranial nerves parasympathetic ganglion is again very important topic parasympathetic ganglions of head and neck region uh other important topic is cranial foramina so cranial foramina is very important uh, where it is located which structures are traversing through it actually now uh, the mcqs are not directly asked that this is a foramen and this structures is going through it you have to identify the location you have to identify that nerve in images so you have to correlate with good images okay so that will be uh, for example we are studying something but if we have got a visual view of that it remains in our head for longer duration of time but that is another that is one point and at another point is that your brain is going to remember the visual image of those things only which you are knowing it okay so if your mind knows the structure the image is framed in your brain so that is also important so both the uh, the theory part and image part okay so images give you a better understanding so always study anatomy with good good images good standard books like uh, grays anatomy but i uh, i feel like many students can complain ma'am itna time nahi hota hai ki whole grays anatomy can be done so i i would like but students grays anatomy book is very nice good pictures are there few important sections and all you can go for nitters anatomy and for du furey's book can be suggested for your histological aspect and i also include many many images in my explanation and in my videos in my special session so do follow it it will be beneficial because i already know that it's a time where you are going for the revision okay so we have to utilize this 3 months in a very uh, sequential manner so cranial foramina are important modifications of deep fascia other important topic is modification of deep cervical fascia my dear friends there are layers investing layer pre tracheal layer pre vertebral layer you have to identify you have to identify where is the tracheoesophageal groove where is the nerve groove that transverse section and longitudinal section so two images are there in this which images you have to practice and you have to see uh, from good atlas is one is the sagittal section you can say and the other is the transverse section so these two images and the important structures nerves location uh, here what is the difference between danger area and retropharyngeal space so don't get confused that retropharyngeal space is same as the danger area what is alar fascia where is the bucopharyngeal fascia located what is the extent of pretracheal fascia what is the extent of prevertebral fascia which structure it include so image based uh, mcqs are going to come from this topic so you can't leave this topic okay also uh, the other important points danger space and all so other than that meninges is very important topic meninges okay so you have to know meninges you have to know about the dural folds okay you have to know the important dural folds uh, tentorium cerebelli how to identify where it is the extent of flux cerebri flux cerebelli diaphragma cella which structure is piercing it and meninges ke sath aapko dural venous sinuses bhi complete karna hai so dural venous sinuses is very important and one of the sinuses is very very important that is cavernous sinus so you can't skip this topic because uh, clinical mcqs are directly coming this topic so cavernous sinus you can't leave so moving with the further more important topics so one is the cavernous sinus which you can't leave clinical mcq so the mcq can be framed in a clinical scenario and it will be asked which nerves are involved uh, because many important nerves are located in the lateral wall and traversing through it so that is very important and triangles of neck so i would like to tell you that all triangles of neck are important so it is not like that posterior triangle is important digastric triangle is important carotid triangle is important but not the muscular triangle because one structure traverses from one triangle to the other triangle the extent of nerves traversing there also suboccipital triangle the scalenovertebral triangle so my dear friends 
please please do know the boundaries contents and how the nerves are traversing you can or you have to also know the cadaveric images for this triangle cadaveric images for identification of important structures lying in the triangles of the neck so other important topics actually in head and neck area few topics uh, um, is uh, overlapping with ENT and all uh, like uh, you will also study pharynx larynx um, nose and ear cavity in ENT but uh, in anatomy also there is a overlap so that is a bonus for you okay so you have to finish the pharynx pharynx the larynx the ear the external ear is important middle ear is very very important middle ear cavity and few points about internal ear also this is overlap this is also covered in your ENT part okay and uh, orbit is very important why orbit in the orbit you have to know about the action of extraocular muscles so i have written in short form extraocular muscles action is important pharynx and larynx may what is important for example image based question can come for identification of piriform sinus or in a clinical scenario they will make a mcq like uh, uh, a person was eating something fish bone was uh, located in this region and certain reflex has been lost like this pharynx may constrictor muscle and the gap in that uh, constrictor muscle and the structure passing through the gap of constrictor muscle other clinical scenario can come as jinkers diverticulum so that all points are very very important you can't skip out sections is also very important so for head and neck category you have to see the cor coronal section you have to see the transverse section and you have to identify the structures so first point is that muscles of mastication my dear friends muscles of mastication you have to know uh, it's a um, it's a uh, or is an insertion in relation to mandible whether it is lying on the outer aspect inner aspect on the coronoid uh, process where it is going so that all will help you to identify the structure in section so have a good practice of identification of structures in head and neck uh, whether it can you can get a sagittal section of head and neck also and you have to identify the important areas and the uh, in that or you have to identify the important muscles in the coronal or transverse section so in my image based session i have included also some of the section and identification of muscles you can go through it and the most important point which i told you any of this topic you want me to take you just uh, tell me i will uh, i will definitely arrange a special session or a youtube session especially for you don't worry about that tm joint and the action of muscles on the tm joint that is also important uh muscles of mastication is important so blood vessels of head and neck is also important blood vessels of head and neck region like the branches of external carotid artery branches of facial artery branches of uh, maxillary artery first part second part third part the location of infratemporal fossa pterygo palatine fossa which structure is lying here okay so please don't get uh, like uh, nervous nahi hona hai kitne sara topic uh, ma'am bata rahi how can it be covered they are all interrelated and if you are knowing that you are going to do it you are definitely going to do it everything where if you will not try for it it will not get completed my dear students and friends i will not tell you exactly students as a friends because all of you are now going to become a specialist doctor so that is the point um, and please don't get uh, enough time is there and it can be done and we can crack it okay always be positive positive and positive okay mujhse hoga aur main hi karunga that is the important point which is very very important so yes now the topics of neuroanatomy neuroanatomy topics kya kya very important hai let me tell you most 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 important you can't leave it is the section of brain okay so sectional anatomy here sectional anatomy is very important why sectional anatomy is very important not only for identification of structures but clinical mcqs uh, is framed from this topic they will ask you whether this structure is involved so what will be the feature seen in this patient like this they will ask this uh, mcqs so yes identification is important in sectional anatomy mein you have to see the section of brain horizontal section revise horizontal section coronal important coronal sections level okay and uh, coronal four coronal sections are more important and the structures visualized there uh, horizontal section and sagittal section of the brain where you can see the important uh, areas of the brain identify the structure why so sometimes it's direct and sometimes it's not direct also that directly they will not ask you that oh this is the splenium part of corpus callosum this is the fornix but they will inter uh, integrate it with the other clinical mcqs like that which Um, area will be involved what will be the 
uh, structures or the function uh, functional aspect lost in the patient like this so that, but that can, that will be achieved only when you are knowing the structure identification so that is important you have to in, uh, identify all the ventricles in this section and uh, like you have to identify thalamus you have to identify internal capsules you have to identify globus pallidus all these important points will be identified along with uh, the third fourth and lateral ventricles and the parts of ventricles tracts very important tracts there uh, sometimes tracts is done more detail in physiology part so uh, again there is a overlap of uh, topics so don't get tracts anatomy bahut important hai physiology physiology mein bhi aap tracts padhte ho to both are very important you have to know how integrate with the lamniscus the thalamic nuclei involved And then you have to know the anatomy of spinal cord internal feature seen and uh, you have to know both spinal cord and brain stem syndrome very very important topic okay so many times mcq has come from this topic you have to know this uh, uh, syndromes of medulla you have to know the pica syndrome you have to know the uh, wallenberg syndrome you have to know dijner syndrome you have to know every uh, foveli syndrome millard bulber syndrome so many syndromes are related to the topic okay so weber syndrome all these syndromes are very important spinal cord may be bahut sare important clinical aspect related hai importance of ligamentum denticulatum okay what will happen how we are going to see the modification of pia mater you have to know about blood supply of the spinal cord that is also very important okay adam kavich artery of adam kavich that is very important so yes brain stem syndrome is very important yes and uh, in the um, previous few years i think 3 2 years back uh, auditory pathway se bhi one or two times mcqs has come auditory pathway visual pathway lesion so i am telling it it's a overlap it is also in the ent part and optha you will study olfactory pathway so just have a important pathway how the track is formed so just see that there is a overlap you will uh, uh, study these topics in uh, ENT and uh, ophthalmology part also. Other than that, yeah, blood supply of brain is very very important topic. Blood supply of brain. So you have to know like circle of villus. You have to know the branches of vertebral artery, basilar artery, internal carotid artery. You have to know the course of internal carotid artery also. and uh, which areas of the brain is getting a uh, blood supply from which of the important arteries so that you can correlate with the uh, with the loss which will be seen in the patient functional areas of the brain is important so directly they are not going to ask you that uh, what is the importance of uh, broca's area like this they can ask you identification of the functional area on suprolateral aspect on medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere so like this you have to correlate and you have to know all important functional areas along with the homunculus also you have to know that which of the area is having bilateral innervation which structure will be unilateral function is related so sensory and the motor areas you have to know white fibers at another important topic white fibers that is you have to know internal capsule you have to know fornix corpus callosum modification also corpus callosum how it is forming corpus uh, forceps major forceps minor tapictum fibers internal capsule kaise uh, um, uh, how corona radiata condenses to form internal capsule ka blood supply is very important because here a slight uh, injury is also going to give you a wide clinical uh, syndromes so that is also very important so these are the points uh, so cerebellum is also another important points सेरिबेलम में आपको पेडेंकल्स नोना है यू हैव टू नो मिडिल सुपीरियर इन्फीरियर सेरिब्रल पेडेंकल्स एंड यू हैव टू नो द एफरेंस एंड द इफरेंस फाइबर्स ट्रैवर्सिंग यू हैव टू नो द न्यूक्लियाई ऑफ सेरिबेलर न्यूक्लियाई हिस्टोलॉजी ऑफ सेरिबेलम एंड सेरिब्रल हेमिसफेयर इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट एम्ब्रोलॉजी पार्ट नाउ कमिंग टू द एम्ब्रोलॉजी माई डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द टॉपिक विच यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्सेप्चुअली ओके सो ऐसा नहीं होगा कि डायरेक्टली यू कैन जम्प टू द सिस्टमिक एम्ब्रोलॉजी विदाउट स्टडिंग जनरल एम्ब्रोलॉजी सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू बी प्रिपेयर विथ योर जनरल एम्ब्रोलॉजी पार्ट देन ओनली यू कैन स्कीप टू सिस्टमिक एम्ब्रोलॉजी पार्ट ओके because a student who is knowing the general embryology part they can understand the development of heart nicely. So please start with the general embryology. Very important.
and it's very conceptual okay it's very conceptual so like you have to know in general embryology important parts is the derivative of three germ layer gastrulation is important neuralization is important other important parts is the uh, also important is the developmental aspect of the primitive arteries and the veins so development of important arteries and the veins you have to know all the feature you have to know the basic concept of cardinal veins vitelline veins umbilical veins pharyngeal arch artery you have to know all derivatives you have to know pharyngeal arch apparatus in detail pharyngeal apparatus is very important point and you have to know in detail you have to know the development of tongue in detail correlation with its nerve supply then only you can understand the pre traumatic and post traumatic nerve ka concept aapko pata hona chahiye you should know this also diaphragm development is very important development of diaphragm because it is related to clinical mcqs diaphragm development you have to know uh, different uh, types of congenital diaphragmatic hernia where is the morgagni hernia located so posterolaterally uh, hai ya left side mein hai uh, uh, anterior median ya uh, right side mein that is important then uh, you have to know about uh, if we talk about systemic so uh, git is important mid gut rotation and anomalies of mid gut rotation is important heart development is important all important how is the interarterial septum form what are the component of interventricular septum form how is the truncus arteriosus uh, give, getting uh, uh, then forming the pulmonary trunk uh, the ascending aorta what is the relation at the different level so that is also very very important these are the points which will be which is very very and congenital anomalies also heart ke development ke sath aapke bahut sare clinical mcqs are related to this point so you can't skip that points other than that you have to know urogenital system urogenital system you have to concentrate on this point you have to know the structures developed from mesonephric duct structure developed from para mesonephric duct brain vesicle is important which is the primary brain vesicle then how is the secondary brain vesicle form and how is the ventricle cavity is developing between these brain vesicles so these are the points which can't be uh, skipped out okay now moving to the next thorax okay so thorax again a very important so each of this point which i am telling you can't uh, just skip so somebody thinks like saying thorax is not very important questions will not come from it we can skip this topic if you hardly give 4 5 hours only the thorax topic is finished and uh, many important mcqs has uh, has been seen in the past uh, years that comes from thorax so important uh, structures are first important point is that heart so you have to know the external aspect of the heart why so because if you are knowing the external uh, of the heart then you are going to understand the internal of heart very nicely you have to know the internal features and identification point of right atrium which structures you can identify image based mcqs can come for identification of uh, smooth and rough area structure seen in smooth and rough area uh, in the right atrium right ventricle very very important coronary circulation very very important nerve supply of heart is important so you have also to know the superficial and deep cardiac plexus nerve supply is very important deep and uh, superficial cardiac plexus other than that you also to know thoracic wall you have to know the inlet and the outlet uh, of the thoracic cavity you have to know simpson's fascia you have to know diaphragm the the developmental component of the diaphragm then you have to know the openings of diaphragm both the major and the minor openings the level and which structures are passing through these openings you have to know the structures contain into mediastinum in detail if i emphasize posterior mediastinum is very very important the structures lying in the posterior mediastinum please study in detail posterior mediastinum very important okay so here with structures like ajagas system of veins you have to know ajagas system of veins you have to know about thoracic uh, duct 
how when it is going from left to right what are uh, right to left uh, at what is the changes what are its tributaries descending thoracic aorta descending thoracic aorta esophagus constrictions trachea is very important also important for histological aspect trachea is also important histology can be asked and uh, uh, recesses are important pleural pericardial recesses okay i i have seen in the previous year there was a question of surface marking of the heart so that also is important as say surface uh, marking you can say surface marking and location of important av node sa node av node its blood supply where it is located av node and sa node that is all important points mediastinum is important mm. so i have not left any important points yes these are the important points of the thorax mediastinum posterior mediastinum lungs bp segment yes i have left the bronchopulmonary segment bp segments my dear friends bronchopulmonary segment you have to emphasize uh, uh, what is the number and uh, how it is uh, sometimes it is fused also it is a, at times 8 in the left hand side and always 10 in the right hand side so these are the points which you have to emphasize now coming to the topic of abdomen and pelvis a quite large portion is there in abdomen and pelvis and how we are going to summarize the important points so i would like to tell in abdomen uh, important point is to know the muscles of abdomen the layers how is the uh, fibers traversing what is the uh, Uh, the modification of the muscles you have to know the abdominal wall you have to know inguinal canal inguinal ligament modification rectus sheath so write down inguinal canal inguinal ligament so very important topic and they can ask you with the other names like popart's ligament they can ask you pectineal ligament gimbernet ligament okay so all these extension and ligaments name you have to know then you have to know rectus sheath in detail how it is formed where it is deficient okay what is the douglas line these all are important thoracolumbar fascia Mm, on important uh, relation so uh, i am most emphasize, uh, emphasize is the surgical relation for important organs like uh, pancreas kidney ureter what is the difference between the uh, relations of anterior aspect of ureter in the right hand side and the left hand side posteriorly it is same and uh, duodenum so spleen stomach bed that all important points stomach bed so yes stomach bed duodenum pancreas kidney other than that uh, yeah other than that peritoneum is a very important topic here you have to know boundaries for the epiploic foramen foramen of winslow you have to know about hepato renal pouch for peritoneum you have to know you have to see the sections okay for peritoneum you have to see the section transverse section and sagittal section and where uh, you have to identify lesser sac greater sac communication that is from the epiploic foramen how the structures are related so sectional anatomy is important for understanding peritoneum and uh, that can come as a image based mcq other than and um, so you have to know morrison's recesses you have to know pouch of douglas you have to know duodenal recesses and what all structures lying in this duodenal recesses pelvic organs which is very very important as urinary bladder uterus okay relations of uterus supports of uterus urinary bladder important structures urethra injury of urethra can come as a clinical ima uh, clinical mcqs clinical scenario mcqs can come bulbar urethra most commonly injured and what will happen where is the extravasation of urine and the blood uh, these are important for, yeah and most important is perineum you can't leave out the topic perineum perineal body Uh, structures piercing the uh, uh, structures piercing the so structures lying in the superficial and deep perineal pouches so perineal pouches are important pelvic diaphragm so pelvic diaphragm which is mainly uh, formed by the levator ani muscle along with the coccygeus muscle and what are the parts of levator ani muscle 
very important pudendal canal is important location extent how it is formed what are the fascia which is uh, forming this area okay internal pudendal uh, vessels artery and yes in the abdomen important vessels which you have to not leave out you have to know about important uh, vessels and its branches abdominal aorta branches you have to know the branches of celiac trunk superior mesenteric artery inferior mesenteric artery and internal iliac arteries okay internal iliac arteries okay so internal iliac artery ka branches anterior division say posterior division say important branches of superior mesenteric artery all these arteries which i have written you should not leave out the branches uh, okay so these are the important topics of abdomen and pelvis now moving on with the topics of lower limb lower limb uh, okay for the uh, limbs muscles and uh, upper limb lower limb many of the students ask how can we memorize all the muscles okay so i am not telling that exactly a very very much detail of the muscle you should know as a first year mbbs student but you have you should have an idea that what is the action of that muscles and from where to where the muscle is extending okay because muscles mcq will come not directly they will frame it as a image based mcq you have to identify the muscle okay if you want to, i will have a uh, muscle session also for, with you and you have to know its action of supply and from where to where it is extending so few muscles you can't leave out very very important okay muscles of the uh, lower limb may muscles causing important movements of the hip joint muscles for the knee joint important like uh, you have to know the muscles identification in the anterior aspect of thigh the uh, quadriceps femoris group of muscle hamstring group of the muscles you can't uh, leave gluteal region muscles you can't leave so very very important muscles identification where it is going and what is its nerve supply action like muscles which is acting on hip joint knee joint these all all the muscles which not be left out also hip joint knee joint ligaments you have to study these are very important joint and not the ankle joint ankle joint also deltoid ligament has come as several times you have to know about the parts of deltoid ligament because as we know it is having superficial part it is having deep parts again that is diverging okay different uh, divergence is there of the deltoid ligament is strong ligament uh, which is supporting the medial aspect so important ligaments you have to know and how it is traversing arches of foot very important topic and also arches of foot along with its clinical aspect okay you have to know the details of talipus equinus varus you have to know hallus vulgus you have to know uh, claw to okay hammer to what is the difference all these points you have to know and you have to know in knee joint in uh, intracapsular extra synovial structures uh, then you have to know in detail about uh, the injury of medial and lateral meniscus so clinical aspect related you have you know, structures intercondylar area of tibia important structures lying intercondylar area of tibia okay uh nerves is also very important but if you tell me to compare the nerves of lower limb and that of upper limb more important is the upper limb nerves okay because lower limb nerves may uh, its clinical features is not so difficult to differentiate but uh, all the nerves root value from which segment it is arising whether it is uh, and always correlate with ventral and the dorsal rami so you have to know femoral nerve obturator nerve sciatic nerve common peroneal nerve tibial nerve these are the nerves which you have to pay attention you can't uh, forget these other than that great saphenous vein my dear friends great saphenous vein because it is very important for clinical mcqs and clinical questions the varicose vein uh, varicose ulcer and vari uh, uh, you can't miss out that points dermatome is also important mainly for the dorsum of the foot few important anastomosis is also important anastomosis that is around knee joint cruciate and trochanteric anastomosis so and few areas like femoral triangle my dear friends popliteal region and uh, adductor region so you have to know the important structures lying here and the identification of the structures lying in this area so you have to go through the uh, cadaveric images for this moving with the next top uh, next important points upper limb topics upper limb topics which is very very important most important topic here is the nerves my dear friends upper limb you have to know in detail about medial nerve radial nerve 
unlearn now along with its the clinical aspect related to the topic how you are going to differentiate the sign and symptoms of this nerve injuries brachial plexus it can all the nerves and the branches from the cords branches from the roots branches from the trunk identification point is important because image based mcq will come from this topic along with it pectoral region is very important axilla is very important contents details of axillary artery branches axilla transverse section you have to go through it contents and all you have to know about the branches of brachial artery you have to know the branches of axillary artery scapular anastomosis is very very important scapular anastomosis i will not tell you to uh, uh, pay more attention to that of the elbow anastomosis more commonly they ask you scapular anastomosis hand muscles is very important identification of muscle is actually important in this category so hand muscle is very important so we have done with this hand muscle identification attached to which important structures innervation and uh, nerves we have i have already told you anatomical regions like scapular spaces are important structures passing through scapular spaces cubital region identification of structure in the cubital fossa um, it has come as an aims question 2019 that cubital fossa may regions may median nerve you have to identify brachial artery like this so that are important points scapular uh, structures passing below and above flexor retaniculum and extensor retaniculum flexor retaniculum structures passing below and above you have to know about the compartments this has also asked in aims entrance examination the compartments of extensor retaniculum and structures passing through each individual compartment of that retaniculum so this is important all these points are very very important palmar arches are important palmar arches spaces of hand spaces of hand very important spaces of hand okay so these are the important points which i have it was a long list okay please don't uh, uh, many of the topics i already know you must be knowing few topics you want a revision don't worry we will have the session on that topic please give me the topics which you want me to take so in the coming session of the month of june i will take topics which you want me to take either on the special session or on the youtube whichever suits you now before ending the session few important points one of this notice is very important the rescheduling of the date of uh, july session aims entrance examination so the date is 16 june okay also a notice for the vacant seat uh, here in uh, which is very important in hams so all these uh, important notice is there please pay attention to this now other than that i want to give you a brief about the platform of anacadi iconic subscription is there where the uh merging of prep ladder and an academy has been done so this uh, subscription will be extremely useful for you for this you can use the code referral code and at 10 and you can uh, take the subscription you can utilize the plus session of an academy along with it the q banks of uh, and the video lectures of prep ladder so this will be extremely beneficial because live test and quizzes are there which are key to success which is a which is a very plus uh, which is a very plus point about the an academy platform the one other plus point is live session you can ask your doubts there and what is the benefit of plus platform that every four session is a doubt clearing session mentorship is there the uh, educators will help you to target the important points and your doubt clearing sessions will be taken you will get the pdf if you miss any of the session you will get the recorded version also so now coming to the other session which i am starting on the plus platform these are the sessions on the plus platform one of the session is mcq marathon so i'm uh, i'm starting the mcq marathon which is targeted for fmg 2021 students so if you want you can join this uh, session use the code anat 10 for unlocking the free sessions on the an academy platform and also for getting 10% discount if you want to take the subscription here now the schedule of the upcoming sessions are like this so which i am targeting for the 29th and 30th of this month 29th uh, morning session that is 10:30 to 12:30 and then again 1 to 3 i am targeting firstly the gross uh, anatomy mcqs upper limb lower limb thorax abdomen and pelvis and in the next day head and neck neuroanatomy then after histology and embryology along with clinical along with the uh, images and cadaveric images and clinical mcqs at the 
last uh, session so total of 10 hours of mcqs are there in uh, in a quick uh, discussion we will cover up uh, the whole important topics of anatomy now boost your preparation my dear friends by taking 12 months of subscription of an academy and get an additional two months absolutely free so uh, this is uh, again for this you can use my code and add 10 and this will be extremely benefit for you if you want to target your examination for example if you want to target the examination for 2022 or you want to uh, target 2023 or 22 so you can utilize the whole year in preparation so upcoming sessions which is on the platform of an academy which is coming up is the following session mbbs foundation course professional year second batch mbbs foundation course for the professional year third batch okay third year professional target the next session by uh, availing the opportunity of being the part of this session you know, so here anatomy is completed by me i have taken the whole anatomy in this session so you can be the part of this session and you can use the code anat10 for unlocking and for uh, taking the subscription you can use this for 10 percent discount now test analysis batch is also going on so you can be the part of fmg test and analysis batch my dear friends 34,000 MCQs are there on the platform of an academy. So just don't wait. Grab the opportunity to have a look on all these MCQs. Revise your, speed up your preparation. And you can use my code again and add 10 for 10% discount. Download the Unacademy app. Okay. Thereafter, what you have to do, I am telling this for the new subscriber. You have to find your goal that is neat PG. Then you have to use this code and add 10. And thereafter, you can just see this. Uh, this is the detail of the need pg subscription whether you want to take one month three months six twelve two years three years subscription whichever subscription is suiting you you can take whichever suits uh, suit to your preparation you can be the part of that session and you can use this code and add 10. now uh, here uh, what are the sessions which is uh, the key to success on the unacademy platform is the live classes plus sessions weekly tests structured courses and unlimited assets so what happens uh, uh, many many sessions are free on the platform of an academy uh, so so you get an advantage of uh, seeing important points and mcq sessions are there and important difficult topics are also free on an academy but the advantage of uh, plus um, a session is that your preparation will go in a structured manner but because it is not uh, necessary that all 19 subject all the points and all the uh, topics is simultaneously going in sequence to your preparation so if you want to uh, prepare for your upcoming session for your upcoming examination so you have to opt for structure courses which is on the plus platform of an academy so free live sessions or any plus uh, platform you want to join you can use this code and add 10 for 10 percent discount or for unlocking free sessions on the an academy platform so for my free session i want to give you the information like 7 30 pm I am taking the NEET PG session. So today is the 15th session still. Uh, so I have already completed 14 sessions previously of targeting the NEET PG 2021 examination. And for FMG session, I have taken the time 9 p.m. This is on the Unacademy uh, platform. This is also free. You can join it by using the code ANAT10. Conceptual anatomy session extremely beneficial for the students who are going to appear for uh, your uh, next examination or those who are first year mbbs students so whichever session suits you you can join and uh, all the best so i would like to give every student best of luck so boost your preparation and these are the topics should not be left for your preparation in the anatomy subject and i think this video may be useful for you and it will be useful please follow these uh, these guidelines and uh, you can just write in the comment box which topic you want me to take for you so thank you so much. We will meet uh, with another session in the upcoming time. Thank you. All the best.